Hey there, Tundra Nation, and welcome back to the channel. Today on Tundra Tactical, we ask, is that a 22 caliber rifle in your pocket, or are you just happy to see us? Hello! That's right, we are jumping into the mosh pit of Ruger 1022 enthusiasts. So sit back as we find out what your particular flavor of Ruger 1022 rifle says about you. The Tactical 1022 owner is the type of person who believes that adding a pick rail and offset iron sights to their plinker caliber rifle instantly transforms it into a tier one operator weapon worthy of the best Delta team member. They've decked out their 1022 with every single accessory that Optics Planet suggested. A Trigicon scope costing more than the rifle itself. A foregrip for the extra control needed when firing those devastating 22 rounds. And a bipod for when they need to take those extra long range shots at soda cans. 50 yards away. The Tactical Ruger 1022 owner is the most special kind of operator. Our friend here's entire personal history is littered with examples of the misguided belief that looking the part equals having actual real world skills. Trust me on this one, folks. Baking it till you make it is a really bad survival strategy. This is a lesson our Tactical 1022 owner should have learned in high school after their 80-second viewing of Too Fast, Too Furious when they customized their mom's beige Honda Civic with LED lights and a plywood spoiler. Then they hit the streets looking to race for pinks. Family, family. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to bore you with the details here, but let's just say their racing career ended a lot like the first time they tried to find the little man in the boat, with tears, sadness, and a call to mom for a ride home. But herein lies the silver lining. Our 1022 tactical owner learned the importance of family when their little sister was forced to drop them off at school every morning their senior year. Hey guys, I hate my life. Folks, hey, at the end of the day, it's your money. What do I know? I'm just a guy on YouTube contemplating if there's a market for firearms content on OnlyFans, so act accordingly. Hmm, what's that I feel? It's, it's, it's like a great disturbance in the 1022 force. Let the hate flow through you. That can only mean one thing. The 1022 purist has entered the chat. Tactical doodads, pick rails, and takedown levers. The 1022 purist craves not these things. Nope, he stands certain that firearms technology and America peaked in 1965. Everything after that has just been wasted effort. His rifle boasts a majestic hardwood stock. Uh, phrasing? And he refers to any form of polymer as that cheap plastic crud from China. He also thinks that power steering made kids weak and Kennedy should have nuked those commies when he had the chance. Nice. You see him rolling down the highway and the back of his car is sagging due to the 100,000 rounds of 22 ammo that he just picked up from Wally World. Now he needs this ammunition to continue his reign of terror against the local squirrel population. Taking a seat on his back porch next to a case of steel reserve beer, he sits vigilantly waiting for that next squirrel to cross his path and feel his wrath. The 1022 purist is held in the highest regard at the Sunday meeting of FUDs in his zip code. The weekly FUD lore meeting held in the community room of a McDonald's is where they trade FUD lore like Pokemon cards, with his lore considered a mint condition Charizard. After the meeting, he gets into a gold crown Vic with cigarette burns on every surface and lights up a cowboy killer, cursing that a man can't even smoke inside a McDonald's Playland anymore. And then he pulls out of that parking lot blasting the radio, which only gets AM stations a feature he paid extra for. Wow. Tell me you have ADHD without actually telling me you have ADHD. You own a fidget spinner and a Ruger 1022 takedown rifle. It's also not a coincidence that these two products were introduced only a few years apart. And I, for one, think that it's great Ruger introduced something for all of us gun owners who need a little bit more to fiddle with than the average firearms enthusiast. <laughs> Phrasing. The 1022 is like a symphony for those of us who cannot sit still. The subtle swoosh of the levered mag release, the satisfying clack of pulling the bolt back, followed by the perfect low bass thud of twisting the receiver and separating the barrel. Ah, a sumptuous delight for the senses. Oh, wait a second. I can see from your expression right now that you are skeptical that the 1022 takedown rifle is actually an expensive fidget toy more than it's a rifle. 
but think it through. Does that actually make more sense than a 22 caliber rifle being used as some sort of backpack gun? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Wait a second, you are actually rocking it as a backpack gun for real? Wow, I am stunned. I've never met somebody with that much hope and optimism. Oh my sweet Jesus. You're a real glass half full kind of person, aren't you? You always see the best in people and you know that everything's gonna turn out just great. After all, your plan is if you need your 1022 takedown in an emergency, it's to unsling your pack, open it, grab your rifle, which is in two pieces, by the way, fit them together quickly, slam a magazine and drop the bolt. All while your threat that you needed this firearm for in the first place does what exactly? Stops and grabs a Diet Coke? Yep, that's 100% weapons grade optimism right there. Take down owner, I'm gonna give you a penny for your thoughts, but I'm gonna need some change back. One more Neutrogena tantrum out of you and you're getting the gate, bud, try me. Any soldier out there is gonna tell you ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain. But an ultralight Ruger 1022 owner will spend literal hours telling you how finding the perfect fluted barrel shaved half a gram off the weight of his 1022. Now, the fact that they're discussing weight in the metric system should be a clue to any patriotic American that something nefarious is afoot. An ultralight 1022 owner talks about weight like a 90s sitcom teenager in the first half hour of that very special eating disorder episode. All they can talk about is how adding or subtracting parts from their rifle is going to reduce its weight by fractions of ounces. Skeletonized parts? Check. Carbon fiber materials more appropriate for an experimental submersible than a rifle? Check. Taking mysteriously labeled Chinese diet pills? Also check. All of this to take a fun shooting seven pound rifle that costs about 300 bucks straight off the showroom floor and transform it into a four pound rifle that costs more than the starting lineup of the 1993 Chicago Bulls. If losing three pounds is that important to you, bud, just go ahead and start adding Metamucil to your diet and have a double espresso every morning. If you don't blow an O-ring and your home's plumbing is sturdy enough, you're gonna shed that weight in no time. All of this, by the way, comes with the bonus of your doctor's crisp high five after all those future colonoscopies. By the way, you're gonna wanna make sure to bring extra hand sanitizer. You're gonna wanna trust me on this one. Thanks, Obama. Nobody talks more about the Ruger 1022 than the armchair experts of YouTube. Hmm, I wonder where this is going. Hey, did you know that to become a firearms content creator on YouTube requires passing a strenuous test about firearms history, knowledge, and engineering? <laughs> now nah, we all know that's a joke i'm just kidding anybody with a gmail account and a 20 dollars webcam gets in the door seriously this place has the exclusivity of a dallas texas walmart on black friday check out this youtuber's 1022 advice from just a couple of years ago as you can see it's pretty apparent that you should probably own a ruger 1022 well that's awkward. It appears I've successfully inceptioned myself. I guess it was bound to happen eventually. Now I know 1022 owners are gonna flood the comments with all the great things about their 1022s. And I gotta tell you, I'm looking forward to your bold rationalizations and creative justifications. Don't forget to join us next time when we still don't know what the heck we're doing. Bye-bye.